it is what time is it it's like 11 o'clock at night i swear in the lands of georgia look at the moon y'all on camera it looks like the sun this is how bright she is like look and when i zoom in it looks like daytime it looks like an eclipse already Y'all, this energy, like, as soon as I stepped outside, I could just feel the energy, like, this energy is strong. It's, it's so strong. Like, it's getting thicker and, like, it's just increasing by the second. Like, the energy is so crazy. Look at the moon. Look how bright. Look at that, look at that work. Wow. And look. Y'all, it's time. We about to get our planning back. We, we are about to get our planning back. Okay. Some shit is about to go down. I want y'all to know we is okay. Cause I've been trying into the after room and I've been seeing two moons and like the astronauts has been so crazy. Like, <laughs> like my, it's not even dreams anymore. I don't even have dreams anymore. It's like real. It's like I just go to a different place, you know. But I'm still here. So for many of you, um, I don't know, but I know my dreams have been vivid. Um. The night I, my wife came upstairs and I had fallen asleep and I was, uh, I don't know where I was, but I saw a guy who used to be a supervisor on my job named DeAndre. And um, his hair was fucked up. I mean, he, he looked like he had been through works. And I'm like, DeAndre, what happened to you? And he just looked at me and didn't say nothing. So. This other brother was like, he said to me, hey, Brother Rim. I said, hey, what's up? He said, Brother Rim, he's a here. So he gave me this gun. I had never seen this gun before. You know, it was different. Um, it looked like he had four shots on it, but you know, could fire multiple rounds. And um, I was like, all right. He said, you're gonna need this right here. He said, so we walking outside. And there is this being, he wasn't a brother, but it was a being who had like this metal armor suit on. All right, had on this metal armor suit. And I don't know why all this stuff is starting to come through while I'm talking. And I'm like, Looking, he said, he said, brother, Ram, watch out, man. He gonna start shooting. So he had this gun, and, and uh, the brother he starts firing at this at this being or whatever. And I could see part of his face, and his face was his, his, it's like his whole body was like jet black. So he started firing at the brother, and I was trying to hit him in the head with my with my shots because I went up on a, on a small hill. And I was trying to get in place, and I, could, and I was aiming in on him. And I um, started firing rounds, and he picked up this, like this heavy, it was like this heavy iron um, shield. And it was like he was, he was, the suit he had was had to be at least a ton. It seemed like it. So I started firing rounds at him, and I could feel the recoil in my hands when I woke up. I could still feel the recoil in my hands so i'm firing 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 the brother firing and he said he said um we gonna have to get out of here because he said we ain't killing this motherfucker so i you know tried aiming at at his face area and then i fired a couple more rounds and he held the shield up and when he looked me directly in my eyes his eyes were like blood red but they were glowing and he was all black. And at that point, I was like, all right, all right. And 
just when I was getting ready to find some more rounds, it's like I was awakened from the dream. I guess I had to, I was pulled out of the dream so that I wouldn't get wherever I was, so that I wouldn't get killed wherever I was. Because whoever this being was, there wasn't no killing them. All right, so yeah, the dreams are becoming vivid. Like, it's like right there, you seeing everything that's happening right there. Also, what I learned in my meditation um, tonight, what I learned, it's not morning until light, it becomes light. So I always call the darkness night because that's what it is, night. What I learned tonight was that the moon, we can tap into the moon. And the moon will restore a lot of our lost memories. We link into the moon, seeking to remember who we are. Yes, um, the moon holds a lot of our lost memories, especially when you start going to the new moon and the full moon. Um, those two literally control. Um, or you can you can link into them and find your a lot of lost memories of what you call the Akashic records. The moon holds a lot of the Akashic records in the spiritual realm. So we have to understand how important the moon is for us, and we have to tap into the moon. A certain ritual we got to do, and I gotta find that ritual when I find it. I want to pass it on to you all, but it's a ritual of remembrance. Okay, so it's like the moon has always been here in our atmosphere. Nobody brought the moon to us. The moon is not a reptilian, draconian base. The moon is in the atmosphere. It moves just like the sun, y'all. Okay, all that bullshit people talking, don't believe that shit. No science. Okay, we have a sun and the moon. The moon deals with your spirit and your soul. So where does all your memory come from? Your spirit and your soul. Yes. So, um, the moon is literally going to be the gateway to open up a lot of shit that's missing in our lives. All right. So, just wanted to share that with you all. Um, we got a long way to go. But guess what, brothers and sisters? Very soon it's gonna be nothing but us, and we we will have no other choice but to expand and excel. Okay. This essentially supercharge and accelerate the already heightened energies of a regular full moon. Lunar eclipses represent profound shifts, unexpected changes, and powerful transformations in the areas of life governed by the zodiac sign involved. In this case, Libra. Libra is the sign of partnerships, relationships, diplomacy, balance, harmony, and justice. A lunar eclipse here signals major developments, revelations, or abrupt transitions related to close relationships, contracts, marriages, business partnerships, or legal matters. Eclipses often expose what was previously hidden, bringing critically important information to light. Long simmering imbalances or injustices in relationships may finally reach a breaking point during this eclipse. This Libra lunar eclipse is a powerful catalyst for achieving greater balance, fairness, and mutual understanding in our closest bonds and partnerships. It's an invitation to resolve imbalanced dynamics or attachments holding us back from our fullest potential. Here are five ways to harness the power of the upcoming full moon and lunar eclipse in Libra. Practice forgiveness. Libra is the sign of balance, harmony, and relationships. Use this energy to forgive others and release resentments that may be holding you back. Reevaluate partnerships. This eclipse highlights your closest one on one relationships. Reflect on which partnerships, romantic, business, etc., are balanced and serving you well. Find your center. With the moon opposite the sun, there can be a push pull of energies. Spend time meditating, doing yoga, or engaging in activities that help you feel centered and balanced. Work on compromise. 
Libra's energy is about negotiating and finding the middle ground. Initiate a conversation where you aim to compromise on an issue. Beautify your space. Libra is connected to art, aesthetics, and beautification. Rearrange furniture, hang new art, or decorate. So you understand what's going on with the moon. This is this moon is shifted. This eclipse is completely different. It's an absolutely different eclipse. The moon is shifted. The moon is, will spew out our memories. All you have to do is link it to the moon. And you need to see. You remember, he need to get a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Believe in yourself. All right, brothers and sisters, don't believe in the moon. The moon is always there. Believe in yourself. Because the moon is a reflection of you. And you are a reflection of the moon. Understand? Therefore, what is above is also below. But believe in yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on so much. You say the moon is always there. You might not see it. It's just sometimes it's kicking out light energy, sometimes it's kicking out dark energy. Yes, but it's always there. So understand, you can link it to your Akashic records. You can link it to the ancient, the ancient histories through the moon. This is here now. It's a trade off of energies. And the more you link into the moon, the more powerful you become. Well. Your enemies, those who are not in business, begin to thin out. See what I'm saying? Collect this energy. Collect your memories. And don't just collect it. Do something with it. Alright? Because soon it's going to be nothing but us. And we won't have any banks and corporations and businesses and money and all this other garbage it's just going to be us us and only us which means we're going to have a shitload of time to rebuild our realm rebuild our lives alright catch you guys later